I just want to continue with what, what has been mentioned earlier before. If we talk about collaborations between art, architecture, and science and sustainability, I think there's still a long way to go. And um, I would recommend the TU Delft to give Hans an honorary degree. I think that would be a nice uh, thank you. And I mean that seriously to, to respect and uh, also to recognize um, stimulating um, inspirations that very often comes from um, not exactly the fields where we expect them to come from. Uta Metebauer is Associate uh, Professor and Founding Director of the recently established program in Art, Culture and Technology at MIT School of Architecture and Planning. Uh, previously, previously, she held position of Director of the MIT Visual Arts Program and before that of Professor of Theory and Practice of Contemporary Art at the Academy of Fine Arts in Vienna. And since 1987, Uta Meta Bauer, I hope I pronounced that correctly, has worked as a curator of exhibitions and presentations on contemporary art, film, video, and sound, with a strong focus on transdisciplinary formats. Uh, see, for example, co-curated Documenta, Documenta 11. Uh, Bauer is also the founding director of the Office for Contemporary Art in Norway is the editor of numerous publications in the field of contemporary art and is an advisor for a number of cultural institutions such as the MIT Liszt Visual Arts Center, the Goethe Institute, and the Center for Contemporary Art Afghanistan. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I had the honor to uh, work with Hans Kaliboda for some time in Delft. Uh, but this was the same time for me in Delft, since I'm working there since 1990, uh, that I met two special persons, Professor Rubel Ockels and Hans Kaliboda. Well, you know all Hans Kaliboda, so first I will present Rubel Ockels and then go into Kaliboda, because I envisioned it might be nice to compare the two in their approach, because both have been, next to others, stimulating in our Delft program and also personally for me. First, Ockels. Now, you see Ockels going, he was the first Dutch astronaut. Here you see him going uh, from, I think at that time it was called Cape Canaveral, with his uh, rocket. Well, this was what, what Ockels saw. Here you see him in his very sexy uh, suit. He was totally uh, reverted when he came back. And he said, I will devote my life to our Earth. So he came to Delft and started to work in all these solar projects in, in Australia, the race in solar boats, here you see him. And now he's working on this uh, super bus. Also, he uses a lot uh, uh, television. Almost every two weeks, he is on the national television to get support for sustainable and sustainable technology. So you could say he is a guy that trusts in, in high tech for sustainability. He doesn't want to change his lifestyle. He says technology, if we put enough effort in it, will solve many of our problems. He uses media power. He talks his ministers. If they don't listen to him, he tells them they're not so good. He is a fast guy, fast professor. He goes for solutions for the Western niche market, so who wants to travel in one hour to Groningen. And he's a real, in Delft, a role model for our engineers. Now Kaliwoda. This is uh, Hans Kaliwoda on the, on, on the left. Down under you see uh, how he left uh, Delft. He had a hard time there. Uh, uh, also, he, he gave uh, the, the other people a hard time, but he was coming with uh, a completely other approach of sustainability. Like, uh, can we survive everywhere? Can we be autonomous with energy and materials? And can we uh, be self-sufficient? Um, but he was not only looking, I would say, not so much looking at environmental sustainability, 
but cultural sustainability, how to relate to other cultures, was his first goal. So if I would make a typology of him, you would say, as compared to Ockels, that he had much more focus on cultural sustainability, on doing more with less, on global solutions, so also solutions for people living in Africa or, or in Asia. And it's not only about transport, it's also about slow living and working and transport. And he's more a role model for, let's say, soft solutions. Also, you could say, yes, he is like Ockels, he is TV or video minded, but I've not seen Hans so much on television. He's more a figure on the background, although he likes to be videotaped. In that sense, I must admit they are both like Madonna. <laughs> <laughs>